Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in the Flash CS4 series. Um, today's tutorial is going to be on the timeline. The timeline is key in Flash. Basically, every animation, every picture, everything is on the timeline. And basically, you're making a giant slideshow, if you want to count it like that. Like, if you ever use Movie Maker, you have that timeline in the bottom where you add pictures in. That's what we're doing right now, but we're doing every picture is going to be played very, very shortly. 30 frames, 1 second. So, that's how we're going to work things, is through the timeline, and today I'm going to have to show you everything I know on the timeline. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with some of the um, buttons and stuff that don't don't even look familiar. Um, okay, so here we have layer 1. Um, on layer 1, I'm just going to, for an example, I'm going to draw this box. Okay, and right next to layer 1, we have a couple different things. We have this little outlined box, lock, and this little eyeball. So basically what the eye is going to do, is if you turn the eye off, you can't see what's on that layer. If you turn the lock on, uh, where's the eraser at? Oh, duh. If you turn the lock on, we can't do anything to this. We can't you know, select and, you know, delete it. We can't do anything. So the lock's useful when you want to add little tiny details in some areas without ruining other ones. And we have the outline. The outline tool is just going to give us a basic outline of what what it looks like. And, you know, we can always, you know, play around with the points and stuff. But this is for, like, character animation when you guys see, like, you know, what's going on, where the lines intersect, you know, if you have breaking, where the breaking is at, and all that stuff. So, fun stuff. Um, the next three buttons I'm going to show you are these three down here. This new layer button does not make a new layer. No, I'm just kidding. It makes a new layer. So, everything done in Flash has to be on new layers. You have a flower, you need to make a layer called flower. If you want to name the uh, layer, just double click on it and hit it. And sorry, typed in flower. <laughs> everything has to be on a separate layer, so everything can be animated separately without any confusion and you know complete screw ups. So um, that's basically it with layering. Other than there's a folder that you can make. Let's say you have head, arm, foot, yeah, you know, T-shirt, all that stuff on all separate layers. You can throw all those layers that belong to a human body or a person or a character that you're making into a folder called, you know, whatever your character's name is. And then you would do that just by dragging this stuff in. Oops. There. And now you could lock the entire folder on its own. You could, you know, not want to see the entire folder. You could do these three buttons up here too. So, um, on to the next stuff. Onion skin. This one's going to be very important. Um, you won't need this too, too much. But it does help. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to keyframe. Whoops. I'm going to delete this layer. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go keyframe some stuff in. And on each of these layers, I'm just going to move stuff around. So let's say you're animating a person walking, and you have to move them over, you know, let's say you have a, a wall in the background, you're judging it by, the person has to move over two bricks every time. And you have constantly have to go back to the last frame, figure out where the person was, and then like count two blocks ahead of it. That way, you know, you don't, you know, screw up or anything like that. So you're saying, oh, well, I wish I could see the other layers and this layer. So you open up a new flash, and you check out the layers as you're making the new layer, and you get completely stressed out, and you start to hate flash. Now what we're going for. So, onion skin is key. Onion skin, we click on this, and this up here, we can drag out how many frames we want to see at a time. So let's say I want to see only the one before this. So on this frame, right here, the box is here. This one, it's over here, but we see where the previous one was. So if you had to move it over a little bit each time, 
you can use onion skin to find out what's ahead of the layers, what's behind the layers, and all that other fun stuff. Um, next we have onion skin outlines. They'll do the same thing as what this does, but just onion skin on. And edit multiple frames. What you can do with all these, whoops, let's say you don't like any of these. Cut the dot, damn it. You can just be like, no matter what layer you're on, or what keyframe you're on, just be like, delete, 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 delete. And delete as much as you want on whatever keyframe you want. So that's what that one will do. Um, uh, that's just the onion skin modifiers. Current frame 6, you can jump to frames like this. Let's say you're at frame 498 or whatever. And you don't feel like dragging this bar all the way down, you know, to, you know, unlimited. Just double click on here and go to the frame you want. This thing here, this is the frame rate. All animation is done at 30 frames per second, no exceptions. Any animation you do, 30 frames a second. That is what every animation company out there does. You name it, Pixar, Disney, uh, your Cartoon Network, um, you know, Teletoon, all this crap. You know... 30 frames a second, it's standard. Uh, elapse time. This down here, let's say your teacher assigns you a homework assignment and says it has to be 5 minutes long. So, you're going through, you keyframing, and you don't want to say, okay, 30, that's 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, and count how many frames you have, or, you know, which would have been easier was take your total frames and divide that. So, here, you just go to your end frame, and it'll tell you, how many seconds or minutes in that case you're up to and that'll that'll really help you out because you won't have to go back and count the frames and this just saves you a ton of time um that's um you know pretty much covering some of the buttons and stuff um i'm gonna just gonna go ahead and cover some shortcuts with you make things easier frames Go ahead and delete the folder. Yes. Okay. So you want, let's say you want to create a keyframe. F6. F6 will make a keyframe of whatever the picture was on the previous frame, and that'll copy it onto a new frame for you. All right. Let's say you didn't want a keyframe, you wanted a blank frame. That'd be F5. Okay, so just some really easy animation tips. That way people aren't, you know, right-clicking all over the place and, you know, right-click, insert frame, keyframe, blank frame, whatever. Um, that's one thing. Insert keyframe. Let's say you want to delete keyframes. You can't just click on it and hit delete. It does not work. <laughs> so what you have to do is you have to click on the last frame or the first frame, drag to where you want to go, let go with your left mouse click, right click, hit remove frames. And it gets rid of your frames for you. Um, so that's basically the timeline. You're going to have to get extremely familiar with the timeline because, you know, like I said in the beginning, animation is all done in the timeline. So, yeah, start playing around with the timeline, make some frames, you know, throw some boxes on. Um, the next tutorial, show you a little bit of tweens and stuff, but yeah. So, don't forget to subscribe, we're a new channel, help us out. And don't forget to watch the next tutorials, because my tutorials rock.